What's going on, guys? Hellboy here again with another Super Mario World video. I almost said Monster Hunter World. Um, something I haven't played in a while, so I'm, I'm doing a Nostalgia Sunday, I guess. Um, so, if you didn't see my last video, I encourage you to check that out. It was two levels that, again, I haven't... This was the first time I started this thing up in a long time. So the background story behind this is my girlfriend found this in her parents' basement and gave it to me for Christmas. Um, we were looking at buying an SNES Classic, couldn't find one, um, which is understandable considering everybody and their mom wanted one um, after the NES Classic. Shit. Um, but yeah, so we couldn't find it, and she took six hours to dig through her parents' basement and found the original. Um, and with that came no game. Well, it had Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Quest. Um, Now, just that game alone wasn't good enough for her, so she bought me this. Um, finding this was a hassle, she said. It took a day and a half just to find this game. And it ended up being at a mega media exchange by the house and cost her 30 freaking dollars. Now, $30 for a game ain't bad. That's reasonable considering some of my Xbox games are 100 bucks. But this game is older than most people's kids. Like, so it still works. The system is in great shape. It doesn't have that yellowing condition to it. Um, but yeah, so she bought me this. I went out and bought Yoshi, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Um, that cost me 40 bucks. And then Mortal Kombat 2. Um, was 15 uh, because the case was correct. Now, a lot of these games you guys will see if you ever do look for one of these systems, or even if you have one and you're looking for games, you know what I'm talking about. Like, the the systems are in, can be in great shape, they can be in shit shape. Um, I know this one is in great shape, the problem is getting the games for it. And I love this system. This is what I grew up on. This is what a lot of... Ah! What a lot of people grew up on back in the day. Um, personally, I would... If I could go back, I would never have gotten rid of it. I mean... I sacrificed this system to get the next one. And the next one. And the next one. And so on and so on. And eventually I had no systems. Like, I remember getting a regular Nintendo, an NES. That NES was used. It wasn't even brand new. It was in bad shape, to say the least. Um... And for... Ah! For being in bad shape, um, I got rid of it. And I bought the Super Nintendo brand new. Out the box, brand spanking new. But it cost me my NES. And then now, I found, my, well, my girlfriend found this. So, now I have this, but I'm still looking for an NES. And... Unfortunately for me, it's nearly impossible to find a good working condition NES with games. Hell, even games for this, like I keep saying. Ah, the NES is getting... Ah, the Super Nintendo and the NES are getting super expensive, like... I found, what was that, Secrets of Mana for the Super Nintendo here, and 
is fifty nine dollars. So I don't know. It's again one of those things where I'll probably end up just coughing up the money for it because it's it's something I again grew up on. I mean these systems they get old, right? No, no, they don't. A system like this. Like, I can't even... I was, okay, I think it might be my controller. I can't even get out of the water. There we go. Okay. For some reason, the swimming ability... Ah, oh, you batch. My swimming ability is not the greatest. I can't get out of the water. Okay, here we go. So, is that the end of this one? Yep. Okay. Alright, so, um... God, I don't even know what to talk about with this video. It's so old school. Now, my bonus stars are... I mean, like I said, I haven't played this in forever. So we'll do the castle before I head out here on this video. Um, hopefully I don't get destroyed. Just because, like I said, there is the delay. I have The one controller is original to the system, and I bought a new one. Um, I missed. But yeah. So, hopefully, um, I can get some more games for this. Like I said, I am going to probably go in the next couple days and get Secrets of Mana. Even though it is 60 bucks. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, it'll be. This video chain will be. Oh! Forgot about those mallets. Hopefully this video chain for these old school games will do me some good. Um, I'm not monetized. Don't really care. If I get monetized right now... Oh! I'm literally just playing some games to play some games. Like, I would have never turned the system on if my Xbox wouldn't have broke down. Honest truth, I haven't touched this system since I got it Christmas. This is the first time I'm playing it. Now, maybe that'll change, because this is bringing back some nostalgia for me, and I, I'm thoroughly enjoying it already. Even though it's giving me a, quite the pain with this button setup, I have to get used to how delayed it is. But, eventually I should be okay. So here we go with the Iggy fight. Ah, I missed! Shit! Let's do this one more time, Iggy! You little bastard. So if you stay above in the very front, you can actually get away with not having to wait for these hammers. Everybody knows that. I pretty much forgot about it because, again, 20 years of not playing a game, it'll kind of screw you up. So, here we go. Now, we're back at Iggy again. Damn it, dude! Bullshit. Almost had him. Oh my god! People like to see you get frustrated in playing video games. You've given them the original NES, or SNES, and have them play Super Mario World. Shit. I'll tell you right now, I'm getting pretty frustrated, and I've only just started playing. 
Oh, come on, really? I missed? That's horse shit. It's not really gonna die, guys. Okay, let's see. I win. <laughs> After all that garbage, I finally did it. Oh, what a joke. Alright, guys, so as always, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you're thinking. This is Hellboy and Super Mario World Original. Um, I'm out. I'm out.